Um, hey guys, Hermit here. Welcome back to my channel uh, for another video. Today I wanted to talk to you about something uh, that's very important. Hey man, how's it going? Hey man. How was the trip? Did you get some nice photos? Yeah, the trip was fine. Uh, but I have a strange feeling I've lost all my photos on my memory card. Oh no. How did that happen? So on the flight back, I was looking at the back of the camera and flicking through some of the photos that I'd taken. Suddenly I get this read error and now I can't access any of my photos. Well, if you'd applied my three point backup strategy, you wouldn't be in this situation. You know that. Oh yeah? Tell me about it. What is it? So I want to tell you about my three point backup strategy. What is that? So when you're on vacation or on travels, expeditions, workshops, you're taking some great photos, you've scouted some great locations, and the last thing you want is to lose all those photos. So what do I do? Um, well, every day when I come back from the shoot, at the end of the day, what I will do is I will grab all of my memory cards from that day. So from the cameras that I've shot with, if multiple cameras, I'll take multiple cards out. Sometimes it's a camera, some drone footage, whatever that might be, right? Grab all the cards, put them in your card reader, plug them into your laptop, and essentially back them up onto your laptop, right? There's enough storage these days on laptops. If you have enough storage, back it up here. So that's my first backup. Then the second backup I have is generally an external hard drive. So I carry one of these in uh, these cases. You know, pretty cheap, reasonable, uh, inexpensive hard drive. Uh, this one I think is a 750 GB. So I will offload all the photos onto this hard drive as well as the computer. So now I have two copies uh, of my photos stored, one in the hard drive, another one on the laptop. The third backup is obviously the original card. Now if my card is getting close to full, I never push it all the way so it gets full. If there's about five or six shots remaining, I consider it full. And what I do with the card is basically in my card holder, right? I have all my cards set up here. And what I'll do with the, the card that's full, and I'm not going to use it, I'll flip it over and put it in like this. Uh, and then I'll take the next free card, which is this one, and I'll start shooting with it. Once this gets full, I'll flip it over, obviously after backing it up onto my hard drive and onto the laptop. So now I have three copies of all of my photos. And when I'm heading back home, what I will do is generally put these three items in three separate um, baggages, right? Or three separate locations, you know, however you're traveling. If you're traveling by air, you'll be checking in luggage, you'll have a carry-on, you'll have your camera back. So what I'll do is I'll put this hard drive in the case and I'll chuck it in the checked luggage. The um, case, whatever case you have your cards in, I'll put that in my carry-on bag. And the laptop usually is in my backpack, which uh, you know can be coupled in with your camera bag or you might have a separate bag. So I have my photos securely distributed in three separate locations my checked-in baggage, my carry-on, and in my camera bag. So in case I was to lose any of one of these, I still have two other locations where I have all of my photos. So um, in the worst case, if I lose two items, I still have a third copy where I can access photos back from my card, back from my laptop, um, or from the external storage that I chucked in my checked baggage. So that allows me to ensure that our, all of my photos are secure. Um, because you know, when you travel, photos are those memories you've captured with your family, uh, an adventure that you went on with your mates, um, or you were scouting locations, attending workshops, you know, doing what you enjoy most, you know, taking photos and visiting new locations. So, you know, if you want to avoid what happens to him, well, you know you'd apply at least two of these backup strategies, if not three. Depends how much value your photos hold to you and what a loss, a complete loss of photos would mean for you. 
So in my situation, I always have three point backup on my external hard drive, on my laptop, as well as keeping the original cards. Now, if you don't have enough cards, cards are enough pretty cheap these days, so you can always buy new cards. Now, in case you run out, what my approach is, I will keep using the cards, and if I need to go back and reuse a card, I would only go back to the very first one that I marked as full, and I'll go back in that sequence again. So that way, I have most of the photos at least three times. Only day one or the first card which got full has been overwritten. Ideally, I'd suggest you carry enough cards for the number of photos that you intend to take so that you don't have to reuse any of the cards. So that is it for my three point backup strategy. Hope that helps. Uh, thanks for tuning into this video and I'll see you soon again back here on this channel. Take care guys, bye bye. Luggage, the checked in luggage. This will sit in one of the cam, sorry. What I'll do is I'll put the hard drive in the carry-on luggage. Messing that up.